Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing how I make chicken shawarma and a yeast-free version of malkuk or saj bread. Let's start with the yeast-free saj bread recipe. To start, you'll need two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of sugar, one to two teaspoons of baking powder, a half teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of olive oil, and lukewarm water. I add in about a quarter cup at a time as I mix and knead the dough. Keep doing so until your dough comes completely together and has a little bit of spring to it. Then cover it loosely with saran wrap and keep it in a warm place for at least an hour. Once the dough has rested, flour the surface, then plop the dough and begin to roll it into a large log. Begin by cutting the dough into one to two inch sections. It depends on the size you'd like for this bread to be. I made mine large and had about six pieces total. I pinch the ends of each disc and gather it into a small ball before rolling it out in every direction. Be as gentle as possible. The idea is to retain some of the initial air bubbles. Place onto a non-stick surface for each part to rest again for at least half an hour. Once rested, place onto a hot non-stick skillet and flip sides after about one to two minutes. You'll start to see bubbles like this form. Gently press down with a spatula to distribute the air. Then set it aside and continue with the rest. For the shawarma marination, you'll need a quarter cup of olive oil, the juice of one lemon, three to four cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of honey, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon coriander, quarter teaspoon ginger, quarter teaspoon salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And this is optional, one eighth or one quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Combine and set aside. Then I prepare to tenderize the chicken by placing it between two sheets of saran wrap. It's really important to tenderize the meat, elsewise it will be dry and not cook evenly on the stand. I use chicken thighs. Shawarma is customarily made with chicken thighs. Using chicken breast could lead to a dry shawarma. If you really would like to use chicken breast though, then I'd like to put chicken fat on the shawarma tower top. Once all the meat has been tenderized, place it to a Tupperware and coat with the marinade. I left mine to marinate for about two days in the fridge. If you're in a hurry, then I would do at least two hours before. When it comes time to assembling the shawarma tower, you'll need a baking sheet, 
cooling rack, and a reusable steel straw. As you saw, I wedge half an onion to act as the base of the tower, and then I puncture the straw through that. Depending on the amount of meat you're using, you can use up to four straws to make a really strong tower. I used just the one because I only was using one pack of chicken thighs. Then I started to puncture one thigh through at a time in a crosshatch style. It's important to alternate the direction to make it nice and round at the end, elsewise it'll look like a giant rectangle and won't cook evenly. Then I top the tower with a tomato and an onion. This way, as it cooks, the juice from both will drip over the meat, adding more flavor and keeping it from drying out. Place it into an oven at 200 Celsius or 400 Fahrenheit for 45 minutes to an hour until the juice runs clear when you cut it. Then start shaving it off. It was really tender and delicious. You can stuff these however you like. I drown mine in garlic sauce. But usually, shawarma contains hummus, pickled turnip, long pickles, parsley, tomato, onion, garlic sauce, and tahini. Roll it up and give it a quick press on a hot pan or griddle. And there you have it, homemade chicken shawarma. If you like this, let me know it and I'll post more like it. How do you like your shawarma? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you haven't already and have that notification bell turned on for future uploads. I'm doing my best to upload more often and your encouragement really motivates me to keep going. Thank you to all of you who do show your support here on my channel. Until then, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!